But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Phone call message, yeah. Yeah, some mentally unstable bitch might call you or message you. I say bring it. Yeah, because she... <laughs> they've been exposed. They have nothing. And they're about to lose more. They're about to lose, like, a home or, a, like, a car or something big. Like, the divine is about to take some shit from them. They're little succubus spirits. They're just... Ugh. Whoever is helping the karmic, I feel bad for them, too, because they're about to be just as fucked up as the karmic is, honestly. Mm. For some of you, that's... Just for a couple of you, not all of you, but it could be someone that lives near the karmic. Important announcement. What's the important announcement? Sabotage. Dreams. They lied. So we have moving sabotage, dreams, psychic visions. Moving slowly, they lied. Some of them are, the energy I'm getting is that some of them are trying to infiltrate your dreams, which is why you need, if you're a divine masculine, you need to protect yourself more. Because some of them are trying to give you like bad dreams or nightmares, or they're trying to get in your head and make you think it's in your best interest to move slowly toward your divine feminine because they want to sabotage this connection between the two of you. So don't let them sabotage it, just ignore them. The karmic is lying to you, be smarter. If the karmic's trying to tell you that no one will ever love you or that the feminine doesn't still want you or, you know, if you're, if you're the divine, if you're um, a feminine yourself, maybe this is what's going on with your person, they lied. They're trying, they're trying to reach you telepathically and just don't let them. It's ridiculous. Dark secret. Yeah. Their secrets are being, being revealed and I'm going to keep revealing their secrets on this channel. I don't give a shit how they feel about it. Yeah, because they have this, like, pathetic little victim mentality where it's like they can't get their way, so they threaten to hurt themselves. It's like, ew. Ew. Yeah, says anything, says anything to get their way. Crocodile tears, pretend apology. Some of these karmics are trying to, like, pretend apologize to the mask. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, vic I'm just a victim. I've just been through so much. I just, I'm mentally unstable. Like, I'm so motivated to change, you know? Or, like, they might, like, try to reveal a dark secret. Like, oh, I went through this as a child, and this is why I'm that way, you know? I don't have anyone but you. Blah, 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 blah. Just don't, just don't be phased by it, please. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's fake tears, fake apology, you know? Because some of them are at that point, they're, they're pulling on different things. A lot of them are angry, so they're going to make threats. But some of them are resorting to this energy where they're going to play the victim and cry and be like, oh, I've just been through so much. I just, I don't have anyone but you. It's not true. They have plenty of men on the side. Trust me on that. More than you know about. They're not motivated to change. They're going to say they're highly motivated. They don't want to lose you, blah, blah, blah. They've just been through a lot in their past. You need to be smarter than that. They're not trying to change. They're just trying to say anything they can, anything they can say, anything they can do to try to get you back. Yeah, masculine, just breathe. You're safe. You're safe, but you need to block this energy out. You need to be smarter. Yeah, masculines, you know, there might be some more threats coming in, but you need to be strong and you need to block their energy out. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Some of them you need to just hit the block button on these bitches and just start a new life with your feminine. Some of them, some of you do need to just leave it all behind and just start a new life with your divine feminine. Because it could be time for sudden change, you know what I mean? And you just have to breathe. You have to know everything is okay. Yes, there's a lot of changes. There might be like a new job, a new living situation, but it's okay. You have to get away from these karmics, so you have to protect yourself. And please, like I said, be smart. No matter what the karmic's saying or doing, it's all bullshit. They might try to, they're going to try to play on your empathy at some point. They're going to try to go back and forth between playing on your empathy and giving you the crocodile tears and saying they want to change and blah, blah, blah. It's all bullshit. It's what abusers do. It's what people that like to, it's what abusers like the karmics do. And you need to be smarter than that. And they'll go back and forth between that energy and making threats. And you need to just be like, bitch, you know whatever just block them out let them let them hurt themselves like like mentally like let them hurt themselves let them you know what i mean like leave them stuck with their own drama the karmics are their are are their own worst karma 
Yeah, some of them are going to reveal secrets, and honestly, you just have to let it go. You have to just let it go. <laughs> Sex and cheating. Shady contract, bad business deal. Some of them are trying to set you up. Like they're trying to come back to your divine feminine or their or the divine masculine or something. Like they're trying to set someone up. Like spreading lies or something about cheating. Like a shady contract or something. Or some of you did make an impulsive decision and they're trying to like, cut, I don't know. They're just, you need to just let them be like, bitch, you know what? Go ahead and, and do it. Go ahead and do it. Own it. If you did do something messed up, own it and apologize to your true love. You know what I mean? But either way, move past this karmic. Like, I know you guys already have. I know the DMs already have moved past them, but. Yeah. Because these karmics are so desperate for attention. Like, they. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel I don't feel bad laughing, but it's like it's kind of funny. Oh, it's kind of funny. I've just like never I've never channeled like a group of karmics that is this pathetic before. Like I've known some really pathetic people in my life, and this is like this takes the cake. This is like a whole nother level of pathetic. Like this is like somebody that the, the masculine can literally be like, dude, I don't want you. You're ugly. You're you're worthless to me. I'm, I have no interest in you. And the karmic will start crying and begging them. Like, who does that? It's just, it's so pathetic. Oh, my God. Like, ew. And you guys wonder why, like, the karmics wonder why they, they can't tap into the divine feminine energy. Why they can't be as spiritual as her. Why they can't be as beautiful as her. Why they can't be as desirable as her. It's like, why do you think? Like, look at yourself. Look in the mirror, karmics. Like, you're pathetic. You're pathetic. They're just desperate for attention, just creating drama and over-exaggerating to get, to get people to focus on them. But you know what, masculines? Like, let them. Let them. Let them spread the rumors. Let them tell everybody. Just let the chips fall where they may. Let all that old energy go because it's going to be for the best in the long run. I know some of you are still holding on to old jobs, but honestly, those jobs are going to fall no matter what because you're meant to have a better job, a better career with your divine feminine. You're meant to have a much better life with your divine feminine. So just, you know, just let the let the let it happen. You know what I mean? Like just let this energy go. Just let it let the old job go. Whatever, you know what I mean? Let it go. Whatever's keeping you stuck, let it go. So you can start your life with your divine feminine if you have not done so already. Let go of the toxic people. Let this bitch create drama. Let her say what she wants to say. Let her tell the whole community you cheated and you did, did this, you did that. You know, the right people are going to stand by you and going to hear your side of the story. The wrong people are going to side with this crazy psycho. And that's how you're going to know that these people are not your real friends or your real, you know, they're not, they don't have your back. It's, it's going to show everyone's true colors. So just let it happen. This bitch tries to threaten to, to gossip or to say this or say that. Be like, okay, go ahead. Reveal the rumors. I don't care. Say it. Like nothing is worth getting back with someone that this, that's this size, this psychotic. Nothing's worth it. You know what I mean? Like, even if you lost your job and your house and, like, the, the whole community fucking hated you, it still would be worth it just to be free of this psycho. Like, this is how just dark and pathetic these karmics are. Like, nothing is worth going back to them for. Yeah, because you can have a calm, stable environment with your divine feminine. So please know that, no matter what the karmic says, because she'll try to get in your head and convince you that the, the feminine wouldn't forgive you or the feminine's with someone else or the feminine's this or the feminine's that, but it's not true. If you did not hear it directly, physically directly from your divine feminine, it's not true. And you need to know that, that you can have this calm, stable environment with your divine feminine. But you have to let go of the toxic authority figures. You know, you might be in a power struggle with somebody and you need to just let it go. Yeah, you're doing it to yourself. Let it go, masculines. Let it go. The money is not worth it. The karmics aren't worth it. Whatever's going on is not worth it. Because like I said, all that money that you're losing with whatever stagnant job you're in, it's going to be replaced tenfold. Like you're going to, like all, you're going to have blessings come in. Like you're going to have a new job that's more stable, more abundant than anything you could ever imagine. Yeah. And you're going to have marriage with your divine feminine too. Hmm, someone's getting evidence to use in court. 
Life partner. See, I think it's saying too that your life partner can help you with this. Your life partner can help you take the karmic down, but you need to trust and believe in your divine feminine. If you saw your divine feminine's power, you wouldn't worry about her with the karmic. Like the thing is that the divine feminine is more calm and humble and she just knows her worth. She knows her power. Whereas the karmic, the karmics are like little children that have to like scream and yell and, you know, try to assert their worth. But you know that they're, they're just, they're not powerful. It's like a little spider that you're afraid of and you don't realize that you could just squish it like that. If you saw like the feminine soul in comparison to the karmic soul, you would never worry about the feminine soul again. You would never worry about the feminine again. You would laugh at anybody. You would feel sorry for anyone that dares to try to come up against the divine feminine. You really would. You would laugh at them. You would feel sorry for them. Like if you if you actually could place like because okay, because there's like this illusion where the karmic tries to pre pretend like she's so powerful because she talks all this crap. It's like a little chihuahua just barking and barking and barking. And it's like, but they're tiny. That's how the karmics are. They're just tiny. But if you could compare the, the divine feminine to the karmic, to the, like their souls, you, you would feel bad for the karmic. You would laugh at, you would literally laugh at the karmic. You'd be like, oh damn, you want to go up against that? Like little, little scrawny little girl going up to someone that's like, just, just visualize that. You know what I mean? Going up to someone who's powerful, someone who's, you know, got the support of the gods and goddesses and fairies and angels and dragons. And this karmic doesn't have anything except a couple little imps working for her. She can't, she's, you need to take her power away. You need to continue to take her power away from her. There's no power there. You need to realize that's an illusion. Any hexes she's throwing at the divine feminine, it's not phasing her. It's not phasing her and it's coming back on the karmic tenfold. Little does she know. And anyone who helps the karmic tenfold is coming, it's coming back on their, them too. Um, and like I said, nothing is going to be taken from the divine feminine or masculine that's not meant to be taken from them. You feel me? So like if you lose a job, it's meant to be replaced by a better job, by a job that's more in alignment with your, your soul path. So it's like, even if she's threatening to, let's say she's threatening to try to get the, the feminine fired. It's like, okay, do it, bitch. Like my guys will probably provide me like a job that pays more than that. Same with the masculine. Some of these masculines are holding onto these old jobs. And it's like, if you let it go, the divine is going to replace it with a much higher paying job. So I want you guys to know that. Um, as always, you can email me for a private reading, angel, uh, dragon enchantress at awol.com. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And, and like I said, stay strong, masculines. You know, if you can stay strong, you know, continue to lock her out. Then I see that after Mercury Retrograde, um, come November, like early, mid-November, you're going to be in a much better position. Like, you're going to be happy. Your life is going to be at a stable point where you're not going to be getting all these crazy texts or calls from the karmic. Like, she's going to be bored. Because the karmic thrives on drama. So when you don't give her the drama that she's seeking, she's a succubus. So when you don't give a succubus the drama that they're seeking, they get bored and they find a little, she's going to find another toy to play with. She's going to find another man to play around with and you're going to be free. She's going to get bored because you're not feeding into her drama. She, these karmics literally feed on the masculine like leeches or they have in the past, but now their, their, their energy source, their supply source has been cut off and they're pissed about it. You know, these are literally succubuses. Like in the, on a physical level, it seems like it's just like a jealous woman. But no, this is actually like if you if you pay attention to what's going on astrally, like telepathically, these are actually succubus souls that have been feeding on the masculines, like literally like feeding off their energy source. Like imagine like a leech. And they're pissed off that their their energy source has been cut off from them. They don't have access to that anymore. So they're pissed at the divine feminine, that the masculine and everybody let these bitches be pissed. If a leech was mad that you removed it and threw it back into the fucking mud it came from, would you put, would you pick it back up and put it back on you? I don't think so. You would be like, no, I'm glad you go ahead and freak the fuck out, but you're staying in the mud. Let these karmic bitches stay in the mud. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, thank you guys for watching.